Hey everyone, Wadge Gaming here, back again with another video. So it's uh, Master Mode Prep Day. <laughs> so you guys already know what happens is I go through my free-to-play teams for 4,200 points. And I also go through my teams that I'm going to be using for uh, 7,500 points for non-free-to-play. Um, I'll also go through the Sync Grid Lucky Skills theme skills that I'll be going through. Uh, I'll give you some alternatives that you could use. And uh, yeah, let's get into the video. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe, do like content, do share it around. And yeah, now let's get into it. Um, so let's go into Champion Stadium. So, oops, uh, sorry, not Champion Stadium. Let's go into the team compositions. So, uh, okay, so this coming Monday on the reset, uh, Lorelei will be weak to fighting type. So this will be my team that I'll be using for the fighter type. Um, so I've got Maylene and Medicham here for Lucario to give it the extra attack stat buffs. Um, it's going to be using attack, X attack all and gloves off to make sure that I raise my critical hit and also get an insured critical hit. Uh, lucky skill I've got here is Defense Crush 1. Now if you've got Defense Crush 2 it's even better. Um, it just helps to lower your defenses so that when Lucario does hit he hits a, li a little bit more harder. And then we've got level 4 on fighting, and then we know it's got nothing on the sync grid. Um, going on to Lucario, um, you can see his stats here, 485 attack. Now when he goes to level 135, I'm, I'm sure that it goes into 500. But he's here basically just to buff his own stats up and then just use close combat. Lucky Scar, oh, I also got Defense Crush 1, but if you've got Crit Push Strike 2, it's a lot better than this. Um, and then Theme Skill level 4 on fighting. Now on the sync grid, I've got the sync buff power ups. I've got close combat status quo because he does lower his defenses and special defenses. So by using that, it will just regenerate his defenses back to zero. Um, then we've got close combat move gauge refresh three as well because I will be spamming that move. And when I do use that move, well, um, it's better just to refresh the gauge. Uh, then I've got Berserker one as well and MP refresh two on skipped off. And you can see, let's get Tom through, sorry. And then, um, so yeah, so that's what I'm going to be using. Um, I did put here Sharon and Stoutland. Um, you can change this up. Um, I only put it in there because I, I <laughs> why not? Um, it's just here to use it. But you can use someone like, um, I think it was like Brock. Um, so another substitute is Brock, uh, which I may use instead. And uh, the reason why is just because he has better defensive stats, 232. And also he's got the potion as well, so I can switch it up and change it with his defensive grid and potion grid, which I'll show you in a minute. Uh, so it's got Lucky Skills Magic Room 2, but in this battle it's better to have Dispense Crush 2, um, so that he can also lower defenses. Uh, and then these theme skills won't matter, but on his defensive grid you can see here he's got Haymaker, uh, Potion Master Healer 2, Potion MP Refresh 2, so he's got... Um, here, he's here for just basically healing and just attacking when he can. Um, because even his um, stats, when he does raise them, he can um, only do them to himself. He can't buff up the stats for the team. Um, so that's my free to play team for 4,000 points. Goes a lot of uh, moving on to my full strength team, and I'm going with this. So Lucario and uh, Karina are exactly the same. Uh, I've got Wally and Gallade. So Wally and Gallade is basically here to just use Hair I Cam to raise his, uh, his basically his accuracy as well. Uh, and his special attack because I will be using Focus Blast. Uh, and then after sinking, then I'll be using Focus Blast again. Lucky skill, I've got his Critical Strike 1 again. It's better if you have Critical Strike 2 on this. Theme skill is level 4 on fighting as well. Uh, and on the grid here, I've got Critical Strike 1, Ramming Speed, Grand Entry 1, Here I Come, MP Refresh 3, and um, Focus Blast as well. So Move Gauge Refresh. So, and I've got all the Focus Blast power ups. So that's my intention. Um, if, well, by the time this video comes out, um, I think uh, Bay would have come out on the day uh, with Sir Fetch. So I may use Sir Fetch instead of Wally and Glade or Karina and Lucario. Um, depending if I do get it, if I'm lucky. Um, so yes, yeah, so I may use that instead if when you do see my video on Monday Reset. And I'm planning on to EX a fighting type Pokemon. So that could be Surfetched or it could be Wally and Glade. It depends if I get it or not and if I get it at 3 out of 5. 
Um, then there's Hilbert and Samurok. Um, so here, he's here basically just to buff up the attack and critical hack in two turns. Then use X speed all and then just spam waterfall to just try and flinch. Uh, Lucky Skull got his defense crush one again. It's better to have defense crush two on this if you're going to use this. Uh, and then, um, yeah, so here's all the uh, theme skills. And then on the sync grid, you've got endurance, vigilance, uh, critical squad two, shield squad one. And um, you've also got aqua tail gauge refresh. Uh, again, you can switch that up with um, Waterfall Midgate Refresh instead. Um, so yeah, that's my full strength team. Moving on now to Agatha, and Agatha will be weak to Ice-type. So this is now a chance to use Getsits and Kyrum. Um, so I've got Torchic in here. Um, the Torchic is basically here to raise the attacks that's critical hit and special attack of the team. Uh, Lucky Skill Defense Crush 2, um, because when he does lower his defenses, um, it will allow gets it to hit a lot more harder and again he's got no grid on on Dolchik. i'm also going to use roxanne and pro pass so this is going to be used to raise special attack and speed because he is a bit slow uh, for gets us and Garen. um i've also got x defense all if needed and then i've got wide guard as well to help me just basically protect the team and kyrum here um he's basically going to use more half half of all to raise his uh critical hit and his special attack as well and then um, what I'm going to try and do is use Glass Cake um, first. Uh, and then once it's frozen, then I'll be using Noble Roll, so basically lowering the attack and special attack. Lucky Skull got his Critical Strike 1. Okay, if you've got Critical Strike 2, it's a lot more better. And then these ones now uh, in here. Um, and then I've got here Overpower, Glass Cake, Post Snap 2, no, Double Drop as well. And Glass Cake, Move Gauge Refresh, Noble Roll, Move Gauge Refresh as well. Um, so that's what I'm going to aim for, um, for Agatha. Uh, moving on now to my full strength team, <laughs> and I'm going with this. And hopefully Summer Steven can get the X next month, um, if he does get a rerun. But um, Getz and Karim is exactly the same. Um, alone, Sand Slash um, and Steven. Um, he's basically going to try and raise his X attack all. Um, and then um, I'm going to spam Icicle Spare to try and get the freeze as well with that. And then I'm going to sync. So in this one, I'm going to be syncing with um, Sand Slash. And the reason why is because when he syncs, he does get hail. And then I'd love to see get to sync him in hail to see what he actually does. Lucky Skull got the Critical Strike 2. And the team's got level 4 on Ice for the team. Um, I've got all the Icicle Spare power ups No Porter, Healing Hell 1, Icicle Spare, Cold Snap 2, X Attack, MP Refresh 2, and Icicle Spare, Move Gauge Refresh. So that's the grid I'm going to go for. Um, talking about the grids, um, I'm going to opt to the... Yeah, no, sorry. I was going to stick with that grid. Um, I may swap the sync grid on the free-to-play uh, with this sync grid. But depending on the battle, um, I think the other one will do a bit more better because of cold snap, and then you want to do the AOE freeze as well. Um, then I've got Glacier and Galay, uh, which is basically going to try and use X regen all so they can all start um, healing at the start of the battle. Uh, and then just spam Powder Snow for the AoE freeze as well. Lucky Skull got a Defense Crush 1. Again, it's better to have Vigilance on Galil. Um, And then, yeah, so level 4 nice. So we'll get HP buffs for the team. And I've got First Aid 4, Healing Hell 1, Team Toughen Up 4, and Ice Shell. So this is going to do well when it's in Ice and Hell. Moving on now to Bruno. And Bruno will be weak to Water. Um, so what I'm going to use is I'm going to use Clay and semi to use a aim over first. And... Um, yeah, so it's going to try and get the endurance and then try and lower speed with mud shot. Um, and then you can see the lucky skills and the theme skills will not matter in the battle. But he's just basically here to just help lower speed. And also there's Misty and Star Me, which is going to use Catch Me if you can first of itself. Then use X Special Defense or then try and lower speed as well. Uh, lucky skill I've got is Vigilance, theme skills level 4 and Mortar, which will help the Barry. And then on the grid, this grid will work. Two, two out of five, we've got two out of five for Starmy. Um, all the bubble beam power ups, agile entry one, X special defense, MP refresh free, catch me if you can, MP refresh free, and um, yeah, so that's what I'm going for. Um, the main star here is Barry and Napoleon, so yeah, we need to try and lower speed as quickly as, as we can, uh, but before we do that, we're going to use no hesitation twice to try and raise the critical hit and speed on himself. And the reason why is because, which we'll see in his grid in a minute, uh, is he's got the multipliers. 
Uh, Lucky Scott, I finally changed it to Critical Strike 2. If you remember from the previous videos, he had Power Flux 2. Um, I finally had enough cookies and I've now changed it to Critical Strike 2. So hopefully he'll do more damage. And I've got level 4 more to power up. Uh, and then you can see on all the um, items here that I've got here, I've got the Sync Node power ups, I've got Inertia. Basically, the more higher the speed, the harder the Sync move. And also, Cakewalk, the lower the speed of the opponent, the more the Sync move, which is why I've got uh, Star Me and why I've got uh, Semi to the lower speed. Uh, then I've got Bubble Beam on a roll 4 and Bubble Beam Beam move gauge refresh. So that's what I'm using for Impellions. So if you have him at 6 star EX, then. <laughs> It should be easy as well. You should be able to get four one thousand five hundred points from this. Uh, but my full strength team is this, <laughs> completely different. Um, I am going with SS Blue um, and Blastoise, which is basically here to raise critical hit and defenses and all the other stats and just a tank. Lucky skills, vigilance, beam skills, level four, mortar, uh, and then here's the grid of one four complete tank grid. Team fist bump two, team triage tank two, quick kill, impervious. To the top MP refresh three, X defense all MP refresh three, what cost move gauge refresh three as well. Um, this is the standard grid that I use whenever I use it. It's really good. I've also got Pre Marina. Um, so Pre Marina is really good because it can raise special defense, X special defense all. You can also raise attack, speed, and special attack um, <laughs> really quickly. And I've got Sing as well, so I can put the opponent to sleep. And I've got Sparkly and Aria for the AOE damage. I've got Troublemaker 1, so that sleep does work. Oops. Um, theme skill here is level 4 on Mortar as well. And then on the grid, uh, I've gone for Power Reserves for Sparkling, Aria, Trip Up 4. So basically, it's a good chance of learning the speed as well. And then Sparkling, Aria, um, Mind Games, and Defense Crush 4. And then the Move Gauge Refresh 3, so I can also lower defenses. And I've got a good chance of learning the Special Defense, which is going to do a lot of wonders for Swampert. The Swampert's here. Oops, I've got the test grid on here. Um, so, doo -doo -doo, let's go with the... I'll go with my normal grid and I'll show you in a minute. So, this, this is basically here for Rain Dance and Muddy Water. Uh, luckily, score got a super duper effective one. I do now need to change this to Critical Strike 2 after looking at this, but I'll probably do it next month. Um, I've got the level 4 Mortar and then all the, on the sync grid, I've got Muddy Water Accuracy, Refreshing Rain 1. I've got in, uh, Intellect 6, uh, which is basically, it's got a good chance of raising the special attack when the weather is uh, rainy and, and my move is successful. I've got Rain Dance MP Refresh 2, ready for this MP Refresh 2. And that's what I'm just going to try and do, so let's use it in rain. Moving on now to Lance, and Lance will be weak to Steel type. So this is my free to play for Lance. I'm going to use Sogaleo for basically Sun Steel Strike. He's also got Bright as the Sun, so he can raise his attack, special attack, and accuracy. Lucky skill I've got here is Enlightenment 9. He's better to have Critical Strike 2 on this. Um, theme skill with level 4 on Steel, but he won't matter, and he hasn't got a grid. Um, I've also got Superior, which can also raise the special attack. And also, but the main reason why it is here is basically to use time to energize, uh, to buff up the move gauge as quickly as I can, so I can attack quickly as much as I can. Uh, Lucky skill got is Enlightenment 9, but again, it's better to have Vigilance on Superior. And then we've got the Theme skill, which will be your Nova, which will help here. Uh, and then on the grid, um, you can see I've got Time to Energize, MP Refresh 2, X Special Attack, MP Refresh 2, and Energy Ball on a roll 1. So if I finish out on the trainer moves, I've got Energy Ball, which I can just find. Uh, then I've got Skyland Swana, which is basically just here to tank, raise defenses and speed with the team. Uh, Lucky Skills Vigilance, um, again, the Million Over ones, this is what's going to help with the team skill. Uh, then we've got Master Healer 1, um, another Master Healer 1, Potion MP Refresh 2, Gust Move Gauge Refresh 9, and Take Flight MP Refresh 3. So it's basically be here for Potion and Gust, and not uh, the training move um, in the beginning of the battle. That's my free to play team. This is my full strength team. Um, so I've gone with Phoebe and Dustnall to basically raise critical hit and attack stats. And also refresh the move gauge. Again, um, Blame Proof is not the best sync grid to go for. Uh, he does have Vigilance on here, so maybe Unflappable might be a bit better. Um, and then he does have the Hoenn Link in here. Uh, on his grid, he's got Team Toughen Up 4, Shadow Punch, Move Gauge Refresh 3, Die Hit All, MP Refresh 2, uh, Unbreakable Bonds, uh, MP Refresh, and Shadow Punch Critical Fortification, uh, which basically has got a good more chance of uh, raising defenses when it hits a critical hit. 
Uh, moving on to Steven. And Steven Metagross is basically here to sink me. Um, so I'm going to try and raise his attack stats quickly and then make sure I get it in short for hitting hit and then sink. And then hopefully then that'll be the end of the battle. Lucky skills, critical strike two. Team skills here, again the hoe and the steel is what's going to give you the links. And then I've got the sync move power up to recuperation two. Haymaker, so the more my attack is risen, the higher the sync move. I've got iron head move gauge refresh and iron head aggravation so I can get that flinch in there as well. Uh, and then I've got Jasmine and Steelix who basically have the tank. I'm going to use Clang and Next Defense all. I've got Defense Crush 2 on this. Uh, you can have Vigilance instead, but Clang is like Vigilance, so you can have an Unflap if you want. Uh, I've got the level 4 on Steel as well, and then on the grid, it is a Sand Tank grid, um, but it does wonders here. I've got Clang, Berserker Bunch 1, um, so basically it raises the attack stats when my move is successful. Clang MP refresh free, X Defense MP refresh free, and also Gyro Ball as well. So just blast just just in case uh, if I need it. Okay, so that's my full strength team. And moving on now to the last Elite Four member, and that is Blue. And Blue is going to be weak to Poison. So Poison teams. <laughs> this is my free to play team. I tried to make it a bit different um, as much as I could. So we've got Ari Janine and Ariados, which is basically here to lower the attack special attack and speed once the opponent is uh, asleep um, but I'm also going to use move out the wind first so just try and get that invasiveness um, it's got the level form poison so my team will get a buff in um, attack stats and it hasn't got a grid so we <laughs> can't do nothing there then we've got Lucy and survival which is basically here to poison and also trap uh, because it has wraps so we're going to try and poison stall it um, Lucky Seal Defense Crush 2 and level 1 on Poison. That will be changed to level 4 Poison now when they go back in. Um, and then here again, it hasn't got a grid. Uh, but the star of the show here is Crobat. So once the opponent is poisoned, his Venom Shot basically doubles. Um, he can also raise his own Invasiveness and Critical Hit, which is nice. I've got Power Reserves 1, so it's better to have Critical Strike 2 on this. Uh, and we've got the level 4 on Poison as well. So it's basically like a triple tech team. Uh, and then we've got Toxic Power 2, Toxic Power 3, Bob and Weave, uh, Venom Shop, uh, Venom Shop Moon Gate Refresh as well. So that's what we're aiming for for my free to play. For my full strength team, uh, I've tried to go completely different uh, and use pairs that I don't really use as often. So we've got Palmeria and Salazzle, which is basically going to be used to poison first with Smug. Uh, then we're going to use Sludge Wave as well. Uh, and we've also got Out of My Way, so it can raise its own. Uh, special attack and speed. Uh, Lucky Skill got his Fire Guard, but again, it's better to have Crit Push Strike 2 on this as an attacker. Uh, and we've got level 4 and Poison, but it won't matter because it won't get any links. Uh, on the grid, we've got Toxic Power 3, Inertia, Agile Entry 2. Um, so I will be able to raise my evasiveness quickly. And then the more my speed is risen, the harder my sync move. Uh, I've got Sludge Wave, Move Gauge Refresh, Move Gauge Boost, and we've got Smog Staggering 4. So it can also flinch as well. Uh, then we've got Venusaur, which is basically here going to be used here to poison. Uh, and then it's also got Mega Healing, so it can reduce the Sync Move countdown, and it's got Potion if needed. Lucky Skills Vigilance, uh, and then again, it will get the Sigma Suit link with uh, Rotom. On the Sync Grid, we've got Toxic Power 5, Potent Toxic 2, Potion Master Healer 2, Potion MP Refresh 3, and Razor Leaf Move Gauge Refresh 3. Um, so you can see it's just going to be here to try and poison and stall as much as possible so that the poison can just do its work and it can, get, it can just basically lose on poison. Uh, then we've got here Rotom. Rotom's going to be here to use Breathtaking so I can sink quickly as I can. It's also got X Special Attack also. It will help with Salazar and Venusaur. Lucky Skills Vigilance. Theme Skills Signal Suit is what's going to give the link. And on the grid, Ridicule 2, Leg Up 2, Agile Energy 1, Expression Attack, all MP Refresh 2, and then Breathtaking MP Refresh 3. Um, so that's my full strength team. Those are all my teams uh, that I'm going to be using on the Monday reset, along with the weaknesses. Uh, do let me know in the comments below what teams you're going to be using on the Monday reset and how many points you're going to be aiming for. Uh, so yeah, so that's the end of the video. Do like the content, do share it around, do subscribe. And yeah, <laughs> I'll see you all for the next one. See ya.